All right, I'm working on this lumber mill here. Lumber mill to cut wood. And I've got this thing here, and the motor attaches here, and the blade attaches here. Oh, this piece here doesn't yet have a keyway cut in it. So on the shaft there, there's a slot, but this doesn't have a slot to, so, you know, you need a keyway in there so you can put a key in there, which locks this to the shaft. So when you turn it, you're not just relying on, you know, some screws kind of pressed up against the thing. You've got like a solid thing to, to lock them together. So when this rotates, this will rotate, even if there's a lot of friction over here. So let's see if we can cut a keyway. Oh, getting kind of messy over here. Oh, okay, that's a little better. So this is the original hole I had for this. And you can see the keyway right there and a piece of metal slips into there and goes into a corresponding groove in the uh, shaft. This end, you know, I made the hole bigger. You can still see the keyway lines a little bit. I need to cut it in to, to match that other one. Let's see. I also need to trim these screws because this is going to be spinning around like crazy. That is going to be dangerous. Same thing with the ones on the motor. I need to trim those. And cut them and put a slot so I can screwdriver them in and out. All right, let's figure out this keyway first. All right, that in a vise with the cut side down. So. Try to get the sides cut first. So far, so good. I think next I'll. I don't know, maybe I can get a diagonal in there. Get another diagonal in there. Yeah. All right, I think I've mangled that enough. I should be able to get a file in there and get the rest of it. That one looks about right. Every time I use a tool, I try to oil it, unless I just did. Oh wow, that is pretty good. Still a touch of it. Ooh, not bad. Yes. Yeah. All right, now these screws, I don't want those sticking way out like that. I think I just cut them off and put a slot so I can screw them in with a screwdriver. They're not sticking out so far. Oh, and I have to go pee. Ah, oh, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, what are you stuck on? Come on. Alright, I guess this one's just a bit tight. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Much better. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. I think I stick the motor on here and make sure it's lined up as well as I possibly can. I think it's off by a tiny amount. this and see if the motor wiggles back and forth as I rotate it. Wow, that is... I'm not sure if it's moving at all. That is very well lined up. Alright, I think I want to put something like right here that's not attached to any of this and then have it right up to the edge of the motor so that when I rotate that I can see if it touches and comes away at all. You can see just how close to perfect it is. Okay. It's, it's moving back and forth like a, oh, like a sliver, like not even a hair width. Maybe it's not even enough to bother doing anything about it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. Well, we can fix it though. This might as well get it as perfect as possible while we can. All right, I want to get it at its farthest point away from the stick, which is about there. Yeah, right about there. And that means I need to get the motor pulled back this way a little bit. So if I slip a little sliver of paper in this side, like loosen these up, slip a piece of paper in there, tighten it back down, should move the motor this way like a microscopic amount. <laughs> Oh no, drop the paper. 
Alright, little paper. Wow, that doesn't move at all. Ooh, nice. That is lined up so good. All right, I'm calling that done. Well, this frame was great for getting all that lined up, but now I think it's time to get off there. Okay, now what? <laughs> 